And here comes Superstock. Well, it's either Jim and Jeff or it's PJ and Jeff, depending on whether he's undercover this weekend or not. Reasons to love Superstock. A 66 283 Chevelle. That's a good reason. That's a great reason. What's up, everybody? We're back. It's been a while. It's been a crazy racing season. I've raced a little bit, been working with the TV promotions, folks. And uh, it's crazy. But we are on our way to Virginia Motorsports Park for the Play NHRA NHRA event, man. I'm super excited. My first national of the year. It's been three years since I've run a national event, and uh, we're taking the Super Soccer. So let's see how it goes. It's been a few weeks since we've had the car out uh, in race, so we got to do a little maintenance, get some of these <laughs> MCA decals off, clean it up a little bit because we were parked in a mud pile. But Soon enough, we'll be ready to go to Virginia. This is what I've worked so hard for. This is my moment. Well, we're uh, we're like a hundred and some miles in. Where are we at right now, Case? Cross. Wait. <laughs> but what, what place are we at? Oh, Bucky's. Are you excited to go to Bucky's? So excited. What are you gonna get? all the snacks we're getting all the snacks we're, we're almost there we're, we're making our way to virginia we go this is what i've worked so hard for this is my moment it is so early we drove so long casey are you awake yes i'm not awake but day one virginia motorsports park let's do it first national in three years we made our first time run 11190 so i'm pretty happy with that uh, 016 up front. I think we can do it on second time run. We probably won't improve. It is miserably hot out here right now, so we'll see what happens. Alright, E1 coming up soon. We made two good hits. We're a foul separate at the uh, 1,000 foot, so we feel pretty good. Casey, how are you feeling about first round? I feel very, oh, first round? Yeah. <laughs> what confidence. We'll see how it feels when we come back. Ken Hanley now on the left side and Jim Fouts in right. What do you think of Chevelle? 66 Chevelle, 283 Super N Automatic. What a great car. And Ken Hanley had an Indy Gear and Spanish transmission over here on the left side. There goes a little 283. Puffin. Puffin. And trying to hold on, Ken Hanley, tracking, tracking, tracking. No, not to get it, how about it? Thoughts had the reaction advantage. Runs 1192 on the 1189, winner. Well, we got by first round. Casey, what were your thoughts as I was going down the racetrack? All we do is win. <laughs> I got lucky, my guy is, uh, I was late, and he was significantly later than I was, I was very lucky. And uh, we're gonna run round number two today. But it is smoldering hot. It says 109 on my dash right now. So we're just trying to, trying to stay cool. And uh, on to the next one. John Kurzenberger, right side. Kurzenberger from Soddy Daisy, Tennessee, which sounds like a location that a play is set. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come see Annie this weekend. James Fouts already off and running in his Chevelle. And if Kurzenberger happened to be peeking over, he might have seen that James uh, did a little ice skating. And he's going to run up on him hard at the back of the racetrack. It is going to be Fouts, 11.97.6 at 105 miles an hour as Kurzerberger breaks out by well, by a bunch, actually, by what? All right, it's uh, Saturday. We made it to day two, national event. They're going to run the pros, so we're getting ready to run. How are we feeling today? I feel great. I feel pretty good, too. Let's see how it goes.
Well, we're down to six cars. Casey, how are we feeling? Uh, really. One more round today, and uh, you know, here's the hope, and one at a time, it's all the letters do. James Fouts and Tracy Robbins gonna roll in next. Now, this is important because this is a two for one. Jimmy Fouts on the left side out of Tennessee, the N Automatic, Chevelle gonna go first, 1194 the dial, and Tracy's gonna sit, 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 go! And here comes that Corvette. Winner here gets a bye run to the final tomorrow. Turn on a wind light, race for a Wally. It's that simple. Wind light, Jim Fouts. 1194 one on an 1194 dead on one locks out Tracy Robbins Holy fuck We're going <laughs> to a national event final two for one. Let's fucking go Sunday Sunday national event Sunday Casey. How are we feeling? I'm feeling great. We're feeling good. It's uh, what a wild time we Got semifinals in the finals today. So, uh Let's go racing. Here it comes. First national event final ever. What do we think, Case? Feeling so good. So proud. What a time to be alive. It's me and Jeff Atkinson. We're going to get it on. 1v1. Let's see how it plays out. And here comes Superstock. Well, it's either Jim and Jeff or it's PJ and Jeff, depending on whether he's undercover this weekend or not. Reasons to love Superstock. A 66 283 Chevelle. That's a good reason. That's a great reason. Other reasons to love Superstock. A 427 powered Copo, dial 934. Big handicap here. Two and a half plus. More than a Christmas tree, a little 283. Here comes PJ. That's green. Here comes Atkinson. That's green as well. Wheels up and on the chase. The Chevelle's holding on, but here comes the Camaro. Closing in, closing in. Jeff Atkinson by two thousandths of a second. 028. Look at him celebrating down on the starting line. Atkinson going to take that one back to his peanut ranch. Well, we sucked in the final. <laughs> Jeff Agnes just he was like, fuck you, I'm gonna throw 33 total at you. Um, I was ineligible 40 up front. But the Chevelle was doing its thing and Casey how we feel. On to the next one, man. Until next time. What's up? Y'all made it to the end of the video. I appreciate y'all watching, man. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Y'all know how this works. Um it's crazy. I've had a, a day now to decompress. Um my first national event final. I've I've been racing for 26 years um, since I was a kid and my dad built my junior dragster um, and got me into this thing uh, and, and for the last 12 plus years I've been racing stock super stock super comp um, trying to win a divisional trying to win a national all these things and uh, it's crazy to think that uh, we packed up 
We drove to Virginia. I uh, made the decision two Saturdays ago when I was at the TV promotions race working. Uh, I made the decision to enter. And uh, it's wild, man. It's a, a long drive there, but we made it late. And uh, to turn on those wind lights and, and to be able to get to the final is crazy. So, uh, but first, none of this is possible, uh, obviously, without my mom and dad. Dad uh, always supported me in the racing thing, even when I drove to Boise to pick up this car just you know, nine short months ago. Uh, to race uh, so thank you Fouts Fabrication shout out to them um, thanks dad for getting me into this uh, also thank you to my girlfriend Casey who it w would not have made it we would not have made it I would have been out of water on Friday I would have been drinking nothing but Diet Mountain Dew uh, I definitely would have died in the heat but uh, she supported man and she was all about you know driving to Virginia and going to race which means the world to me uh, to have that support system and be able to do that uh, so thank you and to Tyler Bohannon, man, Tebow, we've been boys for the last 10 years. Um, I just watched a video of us last night. We were just kids, man, at Norwalk, um, running divisionals and, and trying to do this thing. And he's finished in the top in the world and won divisions. And he's the best, man. He crew sheeted me the whole weekend, shooting me ideas of what the racer I was going to do, you know, who I was racing, what they were going to do, what I needed to do. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, wouldn't have been able to do this without him, man. So thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. Bohannon and North racing to the top <laughs> my guy's got partnerships with everybody so but man i love you i appreciate you brother uh, to jeff atkinson man for whooping my ass thank you <laughs> took me to the woodshed uh i appreciate it I, thank you man couldn't have to a better guy uh i was glad we got to run the final it was a really cool final to, to be able to get to do that man shout out to willie and amy and caitlin all the whole atkinson clan congratulations uh back-to-back -back finals and this time a win so congrats um to everybody that that helped me out uh TJ Coughlin, man, thanks for letting us hang out in the uh, executive suite over there at the Elite Pit, man. Thank you, as always. Tyler Crossno, thanks for the fuel, man. Joe Santangelo, Walt Walker, all you guys who uh, got me my contingency decals and made it happen, man, because I was on a struggle bus and didn't have any. Uh, so thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. To everybody that texted me and everything, keeping my spirits up all weekend, that means the world to me, honestly. Uh, as you guys know, I've been doing this thing for a long time. Uh, and it just really means the world to have everybody have my back and, and be able to support the cause. Uh, what we're trying to do so thank you uh, i don't have any sponsors to thank but if y'all are looking to sponsor me man holler at me <laughs> i appreciate you guys um it's a wild ride it really is surreal and uh i can't wait for the next one till we do this all again man thank you guys for watching you made it to the end of the video i appreciate y'all um until next time pj north racing hit that like and subscribe button